going on everybody? I'm Brian, B-Rex Beekeeper. So, previous videos I talked about swarms and stuff like that and why it's so important not to open it up because you got to absolutely make sure that it's not a swarm or make that it's not, sorry, that it's not just scout bees. If you disturb scout bees, you're not going to get that swarm. So right now I have scout bees checking out my boxes. I carefully lift it up. And there's no bees in it, but they're aggressively looking at it. You could tell they're interested because they're going around the circles around the box and everything. So I'm about 10 feet away and sitting on the ground here. Maybe I'll video some of this so you can see kind of what it looks like. Their behavior. It really looks like there's a swarm. But this would be great if a swarm is about to show up because I really need a hive with a queen. <sighs> Or I just need an extra hive. I just lost another one. So let me show you what this looks like while this bee's trying to kill me. Gosh, get up. <sighs> so this is what you'll see. You might think that's an active hive, something going on in there, but no. No. What are you, are you camera shy? What, what just happened here? There they are. You see. The bees, the bees are going in and out. They're interested. Earlier before I did this, there's like 20 or 30. There's more. There they come. They're all inside there. They're checking it out. If they're checking that box out, that's a nuke size box. It's probably not a very big swarm. And I got swarm traps in my... Yeah, hanging around my property. And then they pick this. But you can see sometimes they go around to like over here or, you know, they'll start circling a box. They check it out pretty good. And I think they like it because they go back and tell the other scout bees like, hey, let's check this one out. And then the more scout bees come and they go back and they just are like, yeah, it's pretty good. How about you all? You all check this one out. You know, they just keep relaying the information. More bees show up and then they say, let's do it. And then they come. So I'd imagine within the hour, maybe two hours, or maybe even tomorrow, there'll be bees here. I hope. I really do, because I need another hive. <laughs> it could be the one that just left right there, that middle one. That box just left. The one with no super. A little lonely guy right there. Yeah. But anyway, this is what's going on here. Just kind of sitting here watching. That bee finally stopped trying to kill me. Yeah, the nuke box is upside down. <laughs> yeah, I threw these here last year real quick because of a uh, hurricane was coming. And I needed room on my stands for the other big boxes, the ratchet trap, and I just threw all these down here. So they're all rotted out pretty bad. I built them wrong anyway. But anyway, it's work this is working out. There's more and more bees showed up. So this would be cool if a swarm shows up. So for the next little bit, I'm going to, you know, keep an eye on this. Uh, I do have to go to bed, though, here soon because I work tonight. But when I do wake up, I'm going to come out here and check to see if there's any bees in there. I need to get my endoscope charged up. Would you leave me alone? I get it. I know. Do you, do you not see her? anyway, uh, I want to get my endoscope charged up and I can show you how you're supposed to check, how you do it. And they're all, they're cheap. Get them on Amazon. They hook, they use a Wi-Fi connection to your phone, like an iPhone or some work with Androids. I think the Android ones are even better. I'm not sure. I mean, mine's like eight years old, but I could probably, they're probably better now. But those things work awesome. I've used those so many times to get bees out of, out of uh, people's houses and stuff, you know, stick it in the hole and check see where the bees are at before I make a cut uh so I want to get that thing charged up so I could check it later yep anyway that's what's going on right now uh that's all I just want to show you this what scalpies look like anyway see y'all later see ya. there they are they came I don't have my suit on ha 
Oh, I was just telling my son to come out here and check on this every now and then. I don't know where these came from. I don't know if it's my hives. I don't think so. This is awesome. This is fantastic. I am going to get my suit on and when this is done, I'm shaking them, I think, in there. I don't know. I don't know yet. I might. Holy crap. So I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes. Uh, get down low. I don't want any bees stinging me in the face before I go to work. I don't know where these bees came from. There's quite a bit, though. <laughs> this is great. Oh man, this makes me happy. So I could do a few things with this. I could just dump them in my queenless one over there. Or I could get the lands. I don't know. I might want to get that lands going. This is great. Sweet. It's almost it. They're almost done. I would have loved to have known where these girls came from. Let me see if I can tell. Uh, I don't know. I don't see any in the trees. But check that out. <laughs> 